<laughs> I hit the wrong le I hit the wrong stick. Oh my god. They literally just grabbed Billy and pulled him into the vents. Alrighty guys, and welcome back to Jurassic Park the game. Now, it has been a little bit for me. I took like a week break because I like recorded my first several episodes ahead. And now, after that week break, I'm coming back to it. And I kind of barely remember what happened in the previous episode. So, I don't know if they'll give us a recap. I hope they do. I don't think we're going to get a recap. Okay, now I'm kind of remembering. Tell us, Doctor. What's out there? What did this to him? Tro... They're called Trodon Pectinodon. Uh oh They're meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no. I kept them in quarantine for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot. Billy, wait. We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like Decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar is dead. All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you. Those things are standing between us and survival. You are about to kill the only person who knows anything about them. Jerry knows a little now. We don't need her anymore. Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner, oh, I... shut it. Oh, uh, let's see if he's got anything useful. Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us. I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it! That's just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen, and now we're all suffering for it. Still! Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is, it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc, let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! He might be a little mentally unstable. It's... it's m my fault. There. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here, but at least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got her. <sighs> <sighs> You just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. Okay. Look, you... we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? Anything over here? Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. They probably are. Let's look. We're gonna get a jump scare. I know it. I don't see anything. Maybe it's clear. Jess, stay close to me, okay? I'll keep you safe. Dad? That's a good idea, hon. Okay, um... Let's go check on this one. Anything in the locker? Locked. It's probably not. What's this? Ooh, no there's blood. I'm vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! Yeah, the pipes are hot, dude. Don't touch them. 
Um, anything else? No. Let's... It's clearly obvious. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go through that gate. Because it even looked like it was unlocked. Can I talk to Billy? I don't understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ovip um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating, but these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. Ooh, his eyes move. It's always creepy. Billy, we should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. Um. Anything else over here? I just want to check before we go for the door. I know I'm talking a bit more in this uh, episode than I normally do. And I am sorry about that. It's the poop shovel. I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. Okay, let's... Boom. Just great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? I'm pretty sure... Hold up. Can I talk to Billy? Because I keep on seeing that. Yep. Are you okay? Jess, hon, leave him alone. Yep, leave the guy that's mentally unstable right now alone. Best option. Um, I'm pretty sure we need... Let's go back to Jess. I'm pretty sure if I can... I can talk now. This tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just... Can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. Don't have to be rude. Could I pick this lock? Not that I would know how. I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. A little be any. Um... Ch -ch -ch. I think we got to go to the lockers over here. Ooh, we missed this. A flare kit. A flare kit. Now what can I do with the flares? This is a little confusing. Double check, make sure. Can I do anything with this? What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Okay, so that's definitely where we're supposed to go. Nothing new there. Let's go check back over here. Anything else? We gotta just, like, keep looking. Until we find something. He's Trodon. What else can you tell me about them? And well, I was right at the f turtle. in the first episode. They're they are troodons. They're intelligent like raptors, but they don't hunt like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. Their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with a toxin. Nima's bite. It was from a troodon? Yes, definitely. I feel like she knew about them and just didn't say anything at all. Maybe we should get going. Are you sure? 
Yeah, if you're ready, Billy. Please be ready, my man. I think this is going to continue it. Is that an incendiary grenade? Billy, did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like Sorry, I'm getting notifications off. on my phone. He has something that will help us. I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. That ain't much of a burial, my but man. I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, that's better, my dude. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones. Understand? Even though we already know you're you're long gone. Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are far away. Okay, and we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels. They're all interconnected. I think I can still find. The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we going to get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Oh no. Coming oh, no. through the vent. <laughs> I hit the wrong <laughs> I hit the wrong stick. Oh my god. They literally just grabbed Billy and pulled him into the vents. That is a big throw it on too. Okay. They're probably not happy either because this is where they decided to set up a nest. So we're probably like right in what they would consider their den. There's a lot of them. They're going past the door. Oh no. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll find that something. The air tank. What? Use the air tank. It's heavy and sturdy. She's right. The air tank. Good thing we looked around, because this literally just told me the quickest and easiest way. Come on, Jerry. Dude, like, you are full on like Jerry Smith right now. Oh no! Jerry, you're gonna break your damn foot. Be careful. That one's on me. I forgot. To, I hit the wrong button there. I, I hit B instead of Y. Got it. Come on. Dude. Oh, they're breaking in. How did I mess that up? I mashed B to completion. It's going to make me do the one where I have... Yeah. Got it. Let's go. Okay. We got it that time. Oh, my God. 
That should keep it at bay. Dude, you just need to run it and get out of there. Why did you die for it? You would have pro it would have been faster just to keep running and you know diving was pointless. Which way? Oh no. Which way, Laura? I don't know where we are anymore. We we need to head towards the north. The staff village is inland. That's the wrong way. So we head this way. We don't head inland. Keep moving. Don't look back, it always slows you down. Uh Wait, the conduit's gone. Don't stop. Wait, those are water mains. Go, follow them. Wait, did I accidentally do that the right way the first time? Which way, Laura? I don't know, Jerry. We must be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes, yes, okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Okay. So we gotta look around. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. I don't have enough to go on here. I need details. Oh, okay. Marks, okay. Unique. So that's the wrong option. That's us like trying to tell her which way to go. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling part way down the corridor. There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. What's down there? It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. Okay, that is. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. Anything else? I gotta ignite the flare now. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. Okay. I think that's all for her. Now for Billy. Do you got a flare as well, my man? You do. Let's just ignite it. Zero blind mi mice. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. Okay, is that enough to distinguish what side we're on? I feel like it's B. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so it's not B. Is it A? I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. I'm just blindly guessing at this point. 
We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Uh oh. I got a problem. I'll circle this one as a candidate. Okay, Laura. I actually got to look Great. through these. Alrighty, I think I got it. I'm positive. Wait, wait. This isn't right. This isn't how the plans described our route. Great. We made a mistake. Real good. We can't go back there now. What now, huh? Oh, no. Uh-oh. I messed up. I thought that was the right one. I even looked back. Okay, so I think I know which one it actually is now. I think it's the bottom. Okay, I think I know which one it is now. It's got to be the bottom left. I feel like... Okay, it's the ladders that keep throwing me off. So, where do you have ladders? Okay. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. In a ladder, it looks like. So. Okay. There. What's this? There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. Okay. So I think we can safely assume that it's not B. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Because there's no water tanks down that hall. Now, I hate having to go back over this. This one curves to the right. Hold up. I remember this one because we got the power conduits there. Then... There are these two big electrical boxes. Electrical boxes, on the right. sorry. And then, sorry, I wanted to... straight and then turns to the right. Okay. Is it just one ladder or two? I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. Okay, so now with that info... I think... Huh. I can... Oh, hold up. I can safely eliminate that this? one. Probably not this one. Yeah, I don't think so. I can safely eliminate this one right here. I'm just here. gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. Uh, I'm actually gonna show you guys this process. It is a really confusing at times. Okay. Now I gotta go to Billy. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. Part way down. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. Okay. I think... I don't think we can eliminate that top one because the water space. takes her towards the end. It's got to be X. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Please, okay, please. Everyone, I'm, I I'm sure this time. Sure. <sighs> yes. Because what I did last time was... Oh, am I? Yes, I am. I'm gonna go for it. I'm positive. We must be here. It's the yes, only one we that are. completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. Oh, I need to get my hands on the controller and get my Mountain Dew out of my mouth. What is it? I feel like this is going to be scary. Oh my god! That is a lot of them! <laughs> Get behind me. 
behind me. Uh, oh, I didn't see that pop up! <laughs> Billy, I'm sorry! Oh, I didn't. I'm dying so much. I'm sorry. I took a week off. I can see this. Get behind me. Okay. Why would you drop the one thing that keeps them at bay? They're making me manually climb a damn ladder. <laughs> oh, I I forgot about that. Oh god, Jess! Oh, what have I done? I just left her down there. I have to go find her. What? Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. I think that's all our biggest concerns is that Yoder's with the kid. Better time over land. Can you get us there? Uh, it must be to the north, near the outlet of the river. A big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. That's something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Okay. Por el amor de Dios. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I loved the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle, climb the trees, these monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family, everyone, my whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. I'm sure it was a very difficult time for your father. I know he wanted what was best for our people. He was too trusting. They took advantage of him. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the Earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy.
What is Sibo? That mountain there. It is like a house, my father said. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before Injun. And my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima! Little fish! Little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. He was right. To me, everything had a string attached. He would always remind me of my stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood, they get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs, or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher, and at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be and refuse the fisher's bait. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. Just changed my life too. She was my second, second wife, second daughter. Apparently I'm the genetic carrier of rebellion because both my daughters got it. I worked so hard to protect Jess and keep her out of trouble. What about you? Did you turn out so good because your parents kept you out of trouble? Me? I was a little hellion myself. Uncontrollable. <laughs> it's in my genes. Hmm. Oh, now you know this is different. Still, one thing Jess really hasn't had in her life is a present father figure. Well, you've turned into quite the capable woman. Your father must be very proud of you. Thank you, Jerry. I... I should have realized that sooner, though. I'm sure he knew. Damn. I think I, I could have ended this conversation a long time ago. Nima, I want to trust you. Help me get Jess off this island, and I will do whatever I can to help you and your daughter. I could not hold you to that, Jerry. If we don't get off this island, you might not have to. Please. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Shh. Is that a compi? Did you guess Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern day birds. For instance, we now know that oh. dinosaurs from the Jurassic period that organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven locations okay. on the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. You know what? I mean, when... Oh, well, when you get lemons, make lemonade. Would you look at this? Did we make it? Oh. Why does this look like... <gasps> this looks like an oh, FEV... Uh, like FVA? FEV facility from Fallout. A hatcher, what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like okay. a marine world. Like the killer whales? It's a hatchery for it? fish. That's a lot of fish. How many whales are they feeding? I don't know. It looks like each of these tanks could feed three or four orcas per day. Oh, well, you're a fish expert now. 
I can make an educated guess. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Oh, what gave you that idea? The fact we're on a park that has dinosaurs? Uh, the game keeps stuttering. I'm sorry about that. All clear. Dad! Jess. Oh, thank God. Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I I'm okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean... Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact InGen and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is going to be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. What? That's right, Doc. We're going to murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. Dios mio. That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home. What do you mean your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait, what is Dr. Sorkin doing? Laura? Uh-oh, that's not what good. Where is she going? Um, because I'm pretty know. sure she's an eco-terrorist. This rotunda, it's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it, get that elevator back up here! That's not good. Oh, they've really made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. Ah, Paleozoic. Oh no, my phone alarm is going off because I forgot to disable it. Sorry. Oh my god, this recording is so bad. I'm sorry. I keep on forgetting to turn off things. And then my phone rings, all that. I just got it muted. Looks like a Mosasaur. Mosa, what? It looks kind of scary. Is it a mosasaur? Sort of a, a sea lizard of sorts. You think of a um, big moray eel with a crocodile head. Croco eel? Great. Sounds charming. Don't worry. There are no sea creatures on my list of park animals. Then what are all the feeder fish for? Feeder fish? Yeah, we came through a big room filled with tanks of fish. Laura said they were for feeding other animals, like whales. Hmm. Well, let's not jump to any conclusions. Oh, you know what? Um, Interesting concept. Living fossils. Well, I guess you can't expect a mosquito to feed on fish swimming hundreds of meters under the sea. This little pool is cool. Were these creatures all cloned like the dinosaurs? No, these aren't actually extinct animals, Jess. They live in the oceans today. They're called living fossils because they haven't evolved much from the ancient fossil forms discovered by paleontologists. Oh, is that a horseshoe crab? Yep. Could be. To be honest, I don't really know all that much about sea fauna. <laughs> fauna. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm pretty sure that they have a mosasaur. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that gal's an eco-terrorist because she wanted to save the dinos. And she did, she that. said to this dude, like, oh yeah, we're only going to do this to the parasaurs. Then she did it to all the dinos. I'm just so tired of running, Dad. I know, I know. When she too. cured them of but their lysine deficiency, so that way they can live longer than a week. Um, let's go talk I'll to be Billy. Over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. 
I think we got everything we can there from the middle. We gotta find a way down. Information. Sure could use some now. Oh good. Instructions. Insert operator's key into key slot. Okay. Etc. Etc. Code expires in 24 hours. Morning operations reset procedure. Turn key counterclockwise to input notch and hold for three seconds. Keypad will reset and beep three times. Turn key clockwise to reset. Enter previous code, then new code. Huh, that's easy enough. Okay, did I go right where I needed to right off the bat? Huh, very clever. Looks like they're using numbers from the dates of the Paleozoic era as daily key codes. Okay, so the plaque for the Paleozoic era preceded the oldest period at the display. Maybe the sequence doesn't start at the beginning of the week. Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code. Need Friday's code? Silurian. Silurian. Good a guess as any. I'm let's not choose not this. Too sure. Uh, let's... Alright, I'm pretty sure because that's the code. This is going to be the door. Let's talk to her. Oh, I can't. It just gives me an option for the door. So let's go check this out again. So it goes... Paleozoic, Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. Carboniferous. That's what we're looking for. I feel like. It's worth a I'll shot. i by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Carboniferous. Don't think that one's up on the board. Ooh, it's not. So what's the next one? Oh, hold up. Carboniferous was Sunday. So Saturday would be the purple one. I need All right, I know which one I need now. I'll be over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, dad. I think I'm hoping. Though this is going off of uh if Sunday Is that Sunday? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold up. Huh. Okay, so the board doesn't go in the order I thought it does. Devonian, Carboniferous. I uh, wish I could fill in the blanks desk, okay? yeah, just so I could figure this out better. Because I could easily like just start knocking these out. It's Devonian. Devonian? Named after Devonshire. Maybe. Let's try this one. I mean... <sighs> Let's give it a shot. I mean, there's only one option that we have right now. I'm pretty sure it's Devonian. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Did I do it correctly? Ah, oh, crud. Must have picked the wrong photo. Damn it, it's not Devonian. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my second option here. Which is Permian. Permian? 
Sounds right. Because I'm pretty sure this was the one at the top. If it's not Permian, we, we will know exactly which one it is. Okay. Okay. Best guess. Now, let's go back over to the terminal. Please be the right code. It's going to make me do this all over again. Nine, two, five, one. All right. New code. Yes. Let's keep it simple. There we go. We got it. <gasps> Dude. Hey, don't open that. Are you crazy? Someone will see. Relax. See what? Oh, you Damn got Damn it, you careless idiot. Uh, what was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, if you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. You won't lay a finger on her. I was just kidding around. Uh, hey, Billy, you, you are a sociopath. Working. You are not joking <laughs> around. What's going on here? Nothing. We're all cool. Jeez, get over it. Let's go. We don't got all day. Alrighty, guys. I'm also pretty sure I'm going to be calling it here for this episode. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying it, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Moy signing out. Peace.